My name is Harish Vasudevan, and my, my background is that I hold a PhD in pharmaceutical sciences from UBC. Presently, I work with Tate Laboratories, which is a two-person startup company that is focused on developing nutraceutical products reinterpreted in modern science. Ask yourself what you want to do. It's good to talk to people, get to know the information, but if you ask me, for example, how did I choose it, I knew for a fact that academics was not my cup of tea, particularly with the publisher Parish Paradigm, public, particularly with me working on the bench for 14 hours, which most postdocs do with a smile on their face. I don't necessarily support that, so I realized that was not my thing. I was a guy who was more interested in the industry side of things, particularly sectors that required high intellectual capital and was into more problem solving and say interacting with people. I think that I knew was my forte. So for people, I think you need to ask what works for you. What I realize is in graduate school, we are exposed and I'm sure people are exposed even more now to a whole slew of technical and, tra and translatable skills, okay? So when in, in terms of the technical skills, yes, it is a given that as part of the program, you will learn technical skills, but the whole idea of a graduate program is to make people appreciate the bigger picture wherein they know why those technical skills were intended to be used, and when you use them, what is the outcome? So look at the bigger picture, come down to the microscopic level, and then go back to the macroscopic level wherein you can tie the pieces and complete the jigsaw. Do not be afraid to ask yourself, what are those skills? Even if it means that those might be problem solving skills, those might be grant writing skills, those might be communication skills, or those might be just the ability to put your arm around a uh, or a colleague's shoulder and make them feel better. There is no written rule that just because you did a set of experiments in grad school means that you have to do that for the rest of your life. So be brave to ask questions and find that out in, ter in, in terms of what works for you. There are a lot of soft skills. I know people don't like using that term, but people like to work with people whom they like, whom they are comfortable with. And a graduate degree per se doesn't give you that. What it gives you is a certain credibility of successfully being through a process wherein you can look at a problem, break it down, analyze it, put back the solutions and Im potentially implement it. There is no one recipe really to do this, but I guess along with graduate skills, the skills that you will require, and I know for a fact that UBC helps you prepare for it, is presentation skills, packaging it. Because no matter how good the, the core product is, you need to package it and realize who your audience is package it to their needs and tell them a story. Every person that you meet, every event that you go to, and every moment you, you don't know who would be that person who opens doors for you. For example, a classic starting point, go to the career services at UBC. That's where I started my career search and I had people helping me out craft my resume and <coughs> all, all my little summary of who I am, it does take an interesting journey of rediscovery because we, we know ourselves, but to articulate what we know of ourselves is a certain kind of challenge. I, I check the biotech section and I know they do update all the time. And the other option is put yourself out there, go to events like the one the SBN holds, the Life Sciences BC does the events that UBC Career Services puts together or some of the my tax related events, I am sure that there is always someone 
who is starting something or who is in the process of hiring whom you will hear of. The, the whole word organic takes on a totally different meaning the moment you talk to that, the, the moment you start putting yourself out there and actually investing in yourself. So I think there are not a lot of sources per se, but I guess there are a lot of sources in the sense that every person is a potential source. Doesn't mean that you have to hound them by the scruff of their neck until they cough up the answers. But if not today, as long as they remember you in a positive way, they will come and tell you tomorrow. I've done it to a few people, lots of people have done it to me. So I think the, the paying it forward concept is still there and it is a good resource. So don't give up, hang in there and use all your resources. They are, they are in pockets, they are in corners, but don't be afraid to explore. My supervisor used to say that you try, you have a one in a million chance. You don't try, you have no chance. So keep trying and then keep it going.